Hey everyone, and especially Islanders fans, thanks for joining me today. We're going to look at uh, the Islanders jersey history. I have ranked it, and uh, this is maybe a video, I don't know, like 11th or 12th in the series. I've already done the original six teams. We're, mo we're working through the timeline up into the expansion era teams, and then uh, obviously going to do the entire league. Well, maybe not Seattle. There's only two jerseys as I'm filming this, but today is the Islanders. Okay, and I think the Islanders are a really interesting team. I like the Islanders, just for the record. Not one of my favorite teams, but definitely not one of my least favorite teams. I usually cheer for them uh, more often than I don't. And they don't really have a diverse jersey history, but they have a lot of really interesting decisions behind some of their jerseys. So this shouldn't be a too long of a video, but I think maybe some people will be a little surprised at uh, some of my rankings. And just for the record, this is not an edu educational video. I'm going to be trying to say some of the years as I go through this, but if I make a mistake, hey, I'm not perfect. Just correct me in the comments uh, respectfully, and that'd be great. Okay. So starting off with, uh, and I put 11 in here, I've kind of ranked some of them together. So for example, in 1972, I've ranked home and away kind of together. So they're not really individual. Uh, some are together. So starting off with number 11, here is um, the 2011 alternate jersey. And I believe this was Reebok. I'm truthfully, guys, I'm not really familiar with uh, the Reebok and CCM, when, you know, whenever that transition happened or whatever was before Reebok. I don't even know. I can't remember. I wasn't really into collecting jerseys back then. So I'm really the end of Reebok era into Adidas is kind of where I really started to get into jersey collecting, so my uh, my knowledge is, is lacking. I'm not a jersey expert by any means. And I've, I'm using uh, mock-ups here because I'm trying to avoid copyright on actual photos, so I apologize for the low-quality mock-ups, but um, anyways. So, in 11th, 2011. The alternate, uh, it, I feel like this is very out of place. It was, it was awkward to see it in black. And then Islanders on the front just it felt kind of low effort. And I know some people really appreciate this jersey, but it's just never, ever done anything for me. And for that reason, I had to put it last. And number 10, that's, this came from the year 2002, I believe. And I thought it was a really interesting jersey design. Like if this came out now in Adidas, I'd probably appreciate it. But I remember seeing it on the ice and uh, just thinking that it just looks, it looks very weird. It just doesn't match it just doesn't really match their brand or their history or or anything. It's kind of an awkward design. So uh, if it came back, I'd probably appreciate it more just because I tend to like kind of retro, new retro style jerseys. But uh, for right now, we're going to put this one in 10th. In number nine, I put the 2014 Stadium Series. So we're going to see a very similar jersey to this very soon. But I... I, I prefer the new one versus this one. So the 2014 version has some of those notches on the arms. Uh, the shoulders are, are a little bit different than that current one that we're used to in Adidas, the alternate that you'll see soon. And then, and then the logo in the front is is, um, is really kind of what did it for me as far as ranking this so far down. It's not really a bad jersey. Like, I don't hate it. It's ranked very low. But I think this was the point in the video where I could say, yeah, I, I kind of like this jersey, but uh, kind of not at the same time. And then we move move on. Like the Islanders really do have a lot of awesome jerseys, but the logo itself for me, just to, to switch back and forth between the gradients uh, on the outline of the logo was uh, kind of a, a negative for me. Next up in eighth position, I put the 2015 alternate black jersey. And I know a lot of people really love this jersey, but it just reminded me of the LA Kings too much. And uh, I don't really like black and white branding in general. I'm, I'm a big fan of color. So for that reason, I had to put this one pretty low. In seventh position, speaking of which, uh, we just you know talked about uh, recently, the new version of kind of that Stadium Series jersey from before, and this is their current alternate jersey. I do not have it in my collection, unfortunately. The, the one, the the jersey I'm wearing, the Reverse Retro, is the only uh, Islanders jersey I have in my collection. Not even just Adidas, just jersey. And unfortunately, it's just one of those teams that I haven't been collecting for that much. And uh, so I'd like to get the away jersey, but it's a bit hard to find it in size 50 or even find it in general. I think it's only available on adidas.ca, so I may never get the opportunity to uh, collect it, but we'll see what the Islanders come up with in the future as far as jerseys. But for this one, I like the um, I like the little graphic in the back of the collar. That is that is nice. I like that the shoulders are squared off, kind of like New Jersey does in their home in the UA. I much prefer that. I know most people like the yokes that go all the way, kind of uh, rounded off on a, where the shoulders start to come down. I prefer the squared off version. And I like the numbers, just again, still not a huge fan of the logo on the front. Even though it's done differently and better, still not really a fan of it. Number six, I put the 1972 version of the jersey, which is kind of what their home and away is based on now. Um, so I didn't really include a, you know, a 2021 version. I, this is, I just looped it into the 1972 version. And I've ranked these together. It's a very nice jersey. I mean, the one they wear now is very similar to the reverse retro that I'm wearing. It's, it's, it's exactly what their jerseys probably should be, but it's just... I wish there was a 
transition. I kind of want them to transition transition to, some, transition to something new. It's great to be historic and it's great to respect the past. Uh, the devil or the devils, uh, the Red Wings, the Detroit Red Wings are experts at that. But I just feel like maybe it's time for something new. So I kind of rank this mid pack because of that. In uh, fifth position, I have put the 1998 version, which is kind of the same jersey, just using the these colors, the the kind of changed colors, the reverse retro colors, and uh, the sh the notches on the shoulders are, I believe, are to signify the Stanley Cups that they've won in their history. And it's again, it's just kind of a fine jersey. It doesn't really get get me up and want me to dance, and I I don't hate it at at, at the same time either. Number four, I put the 2007 version of um, of of the jersey, and I kind of like the arms. Like the arms make it, do they not? It reminds me of the Pittsburgh arms just a little bit, but there's a bit of uh, dimension in the striping because they change shape. So I really like these jerseys. I kind of it would be really interesting to see them come back almost as an alternate. But uh, yeah, good job. And uh, the third position, I put the jersey that I'm wearing, and uh, an actual image that I'm allowed to use. It's the reverse retro image. It's this jersey right here. I I much prefer this jersey over their current home jersey. This was a complete miss as far as reverse retros go. It was extremely low effort. It it they could have done this design in in 15 seconds. Like that's it was basically no effort to it. But that said, I do like the jersey. Like the the jersey itself, I I really like. I wish it was their home jersey. I wish they would kind of go to this uh, deeper blue versus the lighter blue. And in second position, I put the 1996 version of the fisherman jersey a little bit. And here's where I'm gonna get a lot of hate. Okay, I know that. Okay, actually, I'm gonna save the fisherman conversation for the next one. But for this one, number two, 1996, that you're using their original logo, which is this or a, or a version of it, with the fisherman kind of jersey design. I really liked it. I, I I thought it was really unique in the NHL. It was very gimmicky and cartoony and just a bit silly, um, but is so unique that it needs to come back. Now let's segue into the first one, which is the 1995 version with the actual fisherman logo on the front. And I need to say this, okay? I understand if you're if you're an Islanders fan right now and you're watching this and you absolutely hate the fisherman, you don't need to explain in the comments why you why you hate it. I know why you hate it, okay? I've done this channel long enough and had conversations with Islanders fans plenty of times to know why Islanders fans hate this jersey. And I don't even necessarily disagree. Like it is a ridiculous jersey. Like it is it's a stupid jersey. And it is meme. And a lot of people make fun of Islanders fans for it. And that's one of the reasons, that's probably the main reason that they hate it. Other than the fact that it signifies a, you know, a point during the franchise where the team really wasn't that good. But if you embrace the meme, like you get bullied for it now, but if you embrace it, if you embrace the meme and throw it back into the bully's face, which is mostly Rangers fans, they're not going to bully you anymore. Or they'll, they'll try, but they know that it won't hurt you because you're embracing it. So if you wear it on your shoulder, if you throw it in their faces, it's just not something they can make fun of you for anymore and, and, and have it mean anything and have it hurt you. And they make fun of you for it because they know it hurts you, because they know it bothers you. Don't let it bother you. Embrace it. Embrace the meme. Let's bring back the Fisherman Islanders. Let's bring it out in an Adidas, in, in an Adidas jersey. It will be almost certainly one of the most popular Adidas jerseys ever released since they took over in 2017. Even just in the jersey collecting community alone, it will be huge, absolutely massive. Every single person who is interested in collecting jerseys will buy this jersey. Even people who don't collect jerseys, maybe they've got their own team, maybe they're a Colorado Avalanche fan, and they've got one Adidas Colorado Avalanche jersey, and then they look at this and be like, I have to buy this. Like there, there are going to be those people when, when, not if, when this jersey comes out in Adidas. The team already is still embracing the brand in other things. It's on backpacks. It's on sneakers. It's on everything except a jersey. And I understand that there is a an old crony in charge who does not want to see this on a jersey. And I, I don't necessarily disagree. Like, it's from a business perspective, from a, an optics perspective, yeah, you don't really want that part of your current brand on the ice and on your players. But lighten up. Lighten up. Let's bring it. Let's bring it back. Let's enjoy it. So the Fisherman jersey is my all-time favorite jersey uh, for the Islanders in their history. And it was an interesting decision by them in the past. 
So while there was not a lot of diversity in jersey design and style throughout their history, there's a lot of interesting decisions, even not even including the fisherman jersey, just in some of the other ones for some interesting uh, decisions. So I really like their history. Their you know their jersey history. It's one of the best in the in the league, I think. And I would love to see some of these jerseys come back. Let me know down below in the comment section which of these jerseys you want to see come back. If you were a jersey collector, even if you're not a jersey collector, are there any of these jerseys that I just showed? If they came back in Adidas, would you buy it? And, and like you know, make a list down in the comments if you want. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. And you know, what's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Tell me. Tell me your thoughts. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you can hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I've still got tons of teams to go, so we'd love to have you on board. Hit the like button, and I'll catch you later. Adios.